Hello, hello, Guardians. Megumson here bringing you another Destiny 2 video. So, this is going to be a quick build guide video for the Warlock Arc 3.0 subclass going inside of Legendary Lost Sector here, the Scavengers DM. Now, if you want to take out anti barriers, if you want to take out overload champions, this is the build for you. Why am I using the Mita Multi Tool? The Mita Multi Tool keeps my radar on screen. The Fallen can be quite tricky. You have the invisible enemies inside of here, and it's going to be able to cover over some of those longer distances. For my getaway artist fans out there, I am using the getaway artist. Now the getaway artist got a little bit of a bump in this season. When you use your getaway artist, it will automatically make you amplified. So electrostatic mine collecting an ionic trace will make me amplified. Using the getaway artist to consume a grenade will make me amplified. Combining that with the thunderous retort artifact mod that I have, if I am amplified or critically wounded, my super will gain bonus damage during the whole duration of that super being cast. Now, I think Thunderous Retort is meant for the Chaos Reach and for the Tickle Fingers. I don't think they wanted to make them too strong. Maybe Tickle Fingers and Chaos Reach will get a buff in the future. Now, for Overload Champions, I do have the fixed odds for this Legendary Lost Sector. Particularly, there are Solar Burn and they have Arc Shield. So for the Arc Shields, I have the Nezrax Whisper. Built into the Nezrax Whisper, if you level it up, you can get Turnabout and you can get Adaptive Munitions. So it's a Swiss Army Knife of the Glaives. It's one of the fan favorites and it's easier to get than the Raid Exotic, which I think is a Solar anyway. Not the Exotic, not the Raid Exotic, the Raid Glaive, you know what I mean. I want to say that's a Solar anyway, but I digress. Now, Battling these overload champions, you got to be a little bit more aggressive with them when utilizing this build. If you were to take off the Thunderous Retort, you'd be lacking in some super damage, but you'll be able to change that mod out for the Lightning Strikes twice when you throw your grenade, gain an increased grenade recharge for a short time. Arc Final Blows extend the duration of this benefit. Well, with the Arc Souls, that will extend the Final Blows for the extended duration for this ability. But we're in a Legendary Lost Sector. This is kind of in-game stuff, collecting those exotics that you want. You're not going to be really throwing this grenade. When you do throw it, it is going to go boom. It's going to go boom in a big way. Now, if you combine... The Thunderous Retort and the Bad Amplitude, damaging a champion with an arc ability causes that champion to be jolted. That has a little bit more of a synergy on it. But if you want to be just a little bit more, I don't like overload champions, then you can go with Surge Detonators. Now, if you guys do appreciate these short form videos, these quick build guides going through, you can see it in the background, you can see the gameplay, you can see the build at the end of the video then go ahead and leave a like on the video. I'll do more of these short form videos, little build, little talking about it, seeing it in the background, see the gameplay and all that. But if you want a more deep dive, like mostly what I do for the Unkillable Titan and the Undying Magic and the Touch of Death, the other build videos that I have on the channel, go ahead and let me know in the comment section below. So more of these, hit the like. And if you want more long form videos, also, go ahead and hit the like button. Just leave a comment in the comment section below. I read them all and I will get back to you. And worst case scenario, I will like your vid like your comment and leave a heart on it. So I like to appreciate you guys for watching the video and I appreciate your time. So until the next time, I will see you guys in the next video. Bye. -bye, -bye.